Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Waller's Wallet, and there's a new huge credit card bonus on the market, a great offer on the old Legacy Hyatt credit card, and Chase even adds a new fitness benefit to some of their cards. Now, if you want a simple way to help out the channel, consider hitting that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn that bell notification on as well so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, banks really seem to be adding benefits or increasing offers to get our attention. And for customers, this is always great because when banks fight over us, we win. So definitely keep paying attention to the offers because I'm sure there's gonna be more offers to come. Now let's take a look at the huge JetBlue sign up bonus on their card. Now this offer really comes as a surprise to me because I wasn't expecting it, but it's a welcome surprise because the JetBlue Plus credit card is offering its largest bonus ever we've seen on this card. Now this bonus is a tiered bonus, but it's actually not an unreasonable offer on it because you're gonna get 50,000 JetBlue miles after spending just $1,000 in the first 90 days, then you'll get an additional 50,000 JetBlue miles after spending a total of $6,000 in the first 12 months, giving you a grand total of a 100,000 point bonus for only a $6,000 spend. And even if you're someone who's not a big spender, you would only need to spend $500 per month in order to reach a spending requirement, which really shouldn't be too hard for many people. Now, as far as the value of the bonus is concerned, it's really gonna depend on how you redeem your JetBlue miles because JetBlue is dynamic in pricing, so you can actually expect a pretty consistent value. Now, if you're someone who wants to redeem your JetBlue miles for JetBlue Mint, your points are gonna be worth about one cent per point. So these 100,000 points would be worth about $1,000, which would give you about a 17% return on your bonus, which isn't that bad at all. Then if you're someone who uses your points for coach travel, the points are actually worth more than for JetBlue Mint at 1.4 cents per point, so your bonus would be worth about 1400 bucks, which is about a 23% return on your spend, which is actually pretty fantastic. But the JetBlue Plus card is issued by Barclays, and Barclays has been known to be stingy with their credit card approvals. They even have a 624 rule as well. But for the JetBlue loyalist, this is a pretty solid credit card to have and you would need to run the numbers of the value you would get compared to the long-term value to see if it's worth a 524 spot if you're someone under 524. But a 100,000 point bonus is quite compelling. Then we see a really solid offer coming in on Chase from the old Hyatt Legacy credit card, which is something you don't see too often, but I welcome this offer because it's really good. Now I should make this clear, this is not for the world of Hyatt credit card. This is for the old Hyatt credit card that you can no longer apply for. But the email that was sent out to cardholders that when you spend $4,000 on your Hyatt credit card, you're gonna get a free night certificate at a category one through four property. And this is a fantastic offer because this is the same certificate you would get on your world of Hyatt credit card after spending $15,000 on it in a card member year. Now you do need to register for this offer by November 30th and the time period to hit that $4,000 spend is from October 27th until December 31st. Now, I love this offer and I'm strongly considering using it because it can lead to a lot of value depending on where you stay. And I currently have two Hyatt certificates in my account due to them extending the expiration on some of them. So getting a third night would actually be pretty awesome, which would be good for a long weekend away sometime in 2021. I mean, for example, the Hyatt Place Austin downtown, it's a category four property. And for this date in April here, the room cost plus taxes is about $330 for the night, which would give you about an eight and a quarter percent return on that $4,000 spent for the certificate, which is actually really good. And this probably beats out your best non-bonus spend card right now. Plus you would earn some points along the way on that $4,000 spend. So if you're someone who is a Hyatt fan, this could be a good offer to get in on as well. Now it's not too often we see offers like this on legacy cards. And I do think this is planned by Hyatt. Because if you remember, I told you that the legacy Hyatt credit card was supposed to be converted to the world of Hyatt credit card. And I do wonder if this is Chase and Hyatt's way of cushioning the blow for those people who have their Hyatt cards converted. Because giving an offer like this on a legacy card isn't done that often but that information should still be going out to cardholders sometime in November about the card conversion. Then we see Chase roll out a new credit for Peloton memberships on the Sapphire Preferred, the Sapphire Reserve, and the JP Morgan card, where the Chase Sapphire Preferred cardholders can get up to $60 in credits for the Peloton memberships. 
If you hold the Chase Sapphire Reserve or the JP Morgan card, you're gonna get up to $120 in credits for your Peloton membership. And this is gonna be valid for memberships until December 31st of 2021, and you do need to register for this and pay with these cards. Now this is an extremely niche offer on these cards. And while I understand people are at home, Peloton is not a widely used service. Peloton has around 3 million total subscribers, and I'm not sure the total number of Sapphire Preferred, Sapphire Reserve, and JP Morgan card holders, but I feel very confident not all of them are Peloton members. Now, if you are a Peloton member and you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve or one of these other cards, it's a nice benefit for you. But for everyone else, this really doesn't help you at all. And the Chase Media's team saying they've heard from card members that personal wellness and connecting with others with new experiences are core to their lifestyles. And I'm not sure who Chase asked or who they were even listening to, but this is a small subset of people who will actually get use from this benefit. And there are other app-based workout options, and if Chase really wanted to have people get more out of their wellness routines, they could have offered a more generalized wellness benefit versus only using Peloton. Because this is extremely limited. And according to the people who responded to my question in the community tab, basically, this is a useless benefit for many of you. And once again, this is where my problem lies with these niche benefits because they only benefit a small portion of people who have these cards while leaving out other customers. And banks then promote this as a benefit to justify their higher annual fees while making you feel as if you're receiving extra value from these benefits. And we're just seeing more and more of these types of benefits on these cards, and I'm just really not a fan of it. I personally would like to see more broad options offered to customers, even if it meant lower limits on benefits to more people. Now, the JetBlue offer is an amazing offer, and if you're a JetBlue traveler, this card should really be your on your radar because a 100,000 point offer offers you a lot of value. The Hyatt Legacy offer is a very solid offer, and it could be a great option for your non-bonus spend, especially if you can hit that $4,000 spending requirement. If you can't meet that $4,000 spend, then there's really no reason to use this card for your daily spend at all. Then Chase adding a Peloton benefit to the Sapphire Reserve, Preferred, and even the JP Morgan card is a meh benefit because it only benefits a very small portion of people. So tell me, what do you think of these offers? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you want to help support the channel, take a look at the links down in the description below. And if you know somebody that could benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. And until next time, safe travels and take care.